In this episode of The Swing Report, we are looking at the Epic Max Star Driver in Fairy Woods, a niche product for those moderate swing speeds out there. Jackie is here with us to hit some shots, provide her feedback. Golfers, for our final take on these products, make sure you skip to the final chapter. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahola, Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing Minnetonka here in the Tour Van with Callaway Epic Max Star Driver and Fairywood. Uh, unique products here uh, from Callaway, kind of geared at those players with maybe moderate swing speeds, um, trying to get that extra distance that they can still get um, out of their equipment. So very light golf clubs, Jackie. Just yeah. by holding them, I mean, there's, I mean, it, it, it's like a feather here. So. Yeah. Um, it's interesting because, you know, these are the, I mean, I know you work with these golfers all the time. I mean, you have to be excited to kind of fit golfers that maybe need the extra distance and be slower swing speeds into this type of golf club. Yeah, the Epic Max Star for slower swing speeds is like the Lamborghini of clubs. Yeah. Like, it really is. They, you know, they're going to, they have a price tag. Right? Yeah, oh yeah but, absolutely. But I've had a few where, um, you know, you, you get some golfers that really need help with distance mm -hmm. and you hand them the epic you know star mm -hmm. and it's like yeah i mean they're gonna get probably 10 plus yards yeah. extra and so and i've seen it in the irons seen it in the driver you know and so it'll be interesting to see the the comparison here um you know we we do have like a epic max mm -hmm. too to kind of just feel and hold to yeah. kind of get that comparison too so just that I mean, it's super light, super right. like out of the gate without even swinging, super light. Um, definitely know I'm going to gain some club head speed just from that. We'll see how consistent I am with that extra club head right. speed. But it's going to be different than what you're used to playing, you know, uh, regular flex golf clubs. And so, I mean, this is much lighter and much more flexible than um, you're probably used to. But the, you know, Callaway tells us that the driver anyway is 52 grams lighter. So. Uh, I imagine you can feel a little bit of that when you're holding the club. Um, and so essentially what they've done is they've done everything they can to save weight. Um, and I, I, you can see on both driver and ferry wood, no adjustable hosel. So yep. that's a great way for them to save some weight, uh, make the club a little bit lighter. So, and I mean, ideally they, there's, you, you still have that sliding weight on the driver. And then you also have some interchangeable weights on the ferry woods where you can manipulate, you know, your center of gravity a little bit still. But ultimately this thing is just built to add swing speed and through that, add distance and add launch. So um, otherwise, everything about these clubs is pretty much the same as the Epic Max series. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, with the driver and the fairway, you've got the you know jailbreak velocity blades in there. You have your triaxial carbon crown. Um, you have kind of the AI technology on the club face with the flash face um, uh, material there. So all of that is the same. And that's how Callaway is one of the leaders in ball speed and, and you know generating that distance in their woods. But they've transitioned that into kind of a, uh, you know, that moderate swing speed type club uh, to help with that swing speed. So, and, and I, you know, it's a very common thing for golfers. Maybe they're getting all up older in age and they're losing that swing speed. Yep. They want to maintain that distance. This is where those, that, uh, you know, that type of golfer should be looking. You know, maybe a competitor to Zexio as well. Uh, they're another brand that really does well in this category. So, um, Jackie, um, are you ready to hit some shots here today? Let's go. Ooh, low bullet. Yeah. So this is the three wood, and uh, this is the the UST Mamaya at ATTAS at us shaft. Yeah. New to me, um, but it's uh, in the forty gram class for the fairy wood. So I mean, I mean, it depends on three wood, five wood, seven wood, which one you have, how actually how heavy it is, but very light is what I'm saying for a fairy wood shaft. Very light. That's the first thing I noticed right away. It's d way different. And uh, what would you say distance-wise you're kind of used to hitting your three wood right now? Um, anywhere from like 205 to 215. Okay. It's typical. Okay. Kind of depends on what kind of shot I'm looking to hit. So what are you noticing feel-wise here after it's three very, shots? Like, I feel like I don't have control. Yeah? I mean, Because yeah. I'm so sense. used to... You know, I mean, like my three wood is like 20 grams heavier yeah. than this. It's, it's going to be a major difference. And I think it's, a, is a, 
I know the driver's a little bit longer in length, too. Yeah. There we go. Good. Yeah. Higher. I'm impressed by how much spin it's actually generating still. So the Epic Max Star, this is the three wood. Yep. Um, the regular Flex one. Um, so clearly a very different feel than you're used to. Um, so kind of give me the feedback, I mean, off the club face, swing, you know, the, how the club felt through the swing, uh, any feedback you have. Yeah, I felt like I didn't really hit the center of the face. Like constantly hitting it low on the face mm -hmm. and a lot of that's more than likely due to the weight. Yeah. You know? so and so, I mean, we know this is not a fit for you. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I, we're not expecting you to hit this perfectly because you wouldn't be the golfer to, to probably fit into these. But it's it shows, I think it shows just that these clubs are built differently. That And you can certainly feel that major difference when you're swinging. Like, I feel like if I were to slow it down, like, five miles an hour, that it'd be, like, I'd probably hit it farther than what I was hitting there. <laughs> So Which, like yeah. and it just I felt like it was just lagging, lagging you a know, because I'm almost swinging. Too. Which makes it, I mean, that just makes it tougher to control. Yeah, you know, right. The club, face. So that's like, why the club face might not be square, and you did hit some couple of straight ones there. Yeah. Um, but there's, I think there is something to be said about having a club too light, which is for you probably the case here. However, again, there are going to be golfers that come in for fittings that are swinging a little bit slower than you and need that extra that extra distance. Um, so, what I'm curious now is driver, because we know, you know, Callaway tells us 52 grams lighter, um, the Epic Max Star compared to the Epic Max. Yep. Everything else in the club had more or less kind of the same, except no adjustable hosel. Yep. The same technologies in all their drivers, so I'm curious to see how this one performs. Okay, so, and Jackie with that driver, it's a little bit longer in length as well. So I wanna, I mean, do, is that a, a uncomfortable for you <laughs> hitting that. I don't even, I don't even no notice. notice. Okay. No. Okay. Well, that's good for the test then. We'll get some decent, uh, you know, some decent data then. Oh, yeah. This is wow. A good one. So, what's your driver distance typically? Wow, 97 miles an hour, 98 almost club speed. That's, I feel like that's a lot <laughs> faster than you usually swing. Yeah, usually I'm at like 90, 92. <laughs> just five, like almost what seven miles an hour of extra speed. There. The thing I noticed, not even total distance, but carry distance is a lot more. Probably. Yeah. That was one yards. swing. One swing. Yeah. It's pretty good. That one should be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So everything about this club Clubhead is lighter. Um, you know, the shaft is 36 grams in the driver. Yeah. And the grip is like 20 grams. Um, so they're doing everything they can to basically minimize the work that needs to be done to swing the club. And at, at least for you here in these couple of swings, it has delivered more distance. Uh, yeah, I tried to overcook that one. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that one's good. Wow, look at that. Ah. That one might leak right on you. Oh, no. Okay. It's forgiveness there. <laughs> yeah. It's off the toe for sure. All right. Let's uh, bring this up here. Um, so, Jackie, that was the, the driver. Mm -hmm. um, give me your feedback on the driver. How, like, maybe it, you know, try to compare it to what your gamer is now. I mean, I, it's very different golf clubs in terms of how they're built, but... You know, you're, I think you're gaming a Sim Max regular flex. Yep. So, you know, maybe compare it to that. Um, I definitely, comparing like driver to driver, this is definitely significantly lighter. Yeah. Right? So, you know, shaft wise, I mean, this is at 30 grams. My current gamer is at 55. So, like, that's. I mean, it's 20 grams lighter. Yeah. Um, and so, it's, so you're going to swing faster. Now, I did want to get your fee your your feedback on control of the club face. Yeah. You know, is that was was it a little tougher um, maybe I didn't, or not really? I didn't feel like it was that. I don't know. I mean, I hit one to the left. That was more me than anything. But like, yeah. 
like as far as the other shots, like it wasn't as bad as like the fairway wood. I felt like the fairway wood, I couldn't feel the head at all, okay. and I was just like all over the place. This one, I felt like I had made solid contact pretty much every mm -hmm. time. Um, I got some better feedback from the driver than I did the fairway wood, yeah. but a lot of that when talking, you know, three wood to driver, I mean, the, the driver is going to have more head weight here, right? So you're right. probably going to end up feeling it a little bit better than like the fairway wood doesn't have as much. So sure. You know. Sure. Yeah. I, I mean, it's, again, this is a, it's a very niche kind of club. There's a kind of a smaller demographic of golfers that'll fit into these products, but it's, it's worth, I mean, it's worth noting that you get kind of four basically right down the middle here with some pretty darn good distance on them. So, um, and then there was one that you actually thought you kind of leaked out right. Um, and you were surprised by how kind of it straightened out. So there's something, I mean, there's clearly these, there's forgiveness packed in there, there's distance packed in there, and then there's the, the lightweight capabilities that will only help, you know, a moderate swing speed even increase that, that speed a little bit, so. Yeah, I think like when you're talking about, you know, when we get some customers in here that are really struggling, um, trying to get distance, whether it, you know, is a mobility issue, so sometimes you have back problems or, you know, a lot of people have like arthritis, whether yeah. it's in their knee, in their hands, whatever. Something like this would be great in terms of like a significant upgrade from any um, mm -hmm. other equipment. I mean, it's, it feels good. I think the Epic Max Star to me, you know, I've hit the Epic Max. This feels better than that. Like it feels, okay. I don't know. I like the feel of it more than I like the Epic Max. Interesting. So I don't know if it's necessarily maybe the shaft that I'm feeling too, but I like the feel of the head a little bit better. And I don't know why oh, that well, is. That's, that's, that's good feedback. That's yeah. good feedback. I think that's, and that's, that's the type of feedback the golfers are looking for here. So I think, you know, obviously from the test, we got some, we got some good performance here from the yeah. Epic Max Star. Testing complete, Jackie. Epic Max Star. You've got the Epic Max driver now in your hand. Can you feel that difference just by holding both of them? Uh, I mean, it's like crazy. Yeah, like night and day. Yeah, night and day. Um, honestly, like not a lot of other differences besides the. No, I mean, look at the like even the back of the club. Like the the design of all of it is. I yeah. Mean, the color is different, but like the the shaping, the design, like there's the weight track back here. It's all. Very similar. Yeah, the club head itself, besides the color, is like pretty much the same. And also, you know, obviously the adjustment hosel is different. Right. Um, I personally like the Epic Max Star. Like the look is sleek. Yeah. Uh, there's something about the gold that just like makes it look premier. Yeah. You know, I yeah. mean, it is, but like it's. Yeah. It's good looking. Um, but yeah, the weight of the actual club, like. You can kind of feel it. I mean, 100%. It, it. Yeah, it is way way different. Um. Yeah, I would say like when you're taking a look at, okay, well, is it worth the upgrade from the Epic Max to Epic Max Star? Well, it's 100% player dependent. Right. I mean, if you're, if you're, you know, swinging 100 plus miles an hour and you're looking for more distance, this is not going to, that's. It, it's, th it's going to help you swing faster. Yeah, but. but it, it, you're, the control of the club face will be all over. This would not be a good fit right. at all, yeah. right? But if you're, you know, anywhere from 70 to 90 miles an hour with the driver swing speed, this is something to definitely take a look at. I mean, mm -hmm. when you're thinking about what are all the club options that's going to help me get more swing speed, Epic Max Star is like... It's up there. Uh, it's definitely up there. And it's, a, it's, it's not a, you know, it's not a maybe largely advertised, no. um, you know, section of the market um, in terms of golf equipment um, because just it's not, doesn't cover a ton of golfers, right. but it's a very important one because maintaining that swing speed, um, you know, whether you're, maybe you're losing some, maybe you've had an injury, whatever the case might be, and you're trying to keep that up. It's some of the, these, uh, the popular clubs out there and the popular shafts offer don't necessarily cater to that. Whereas Epic Max Star, and then there's other ones like Zexio or another brand that really focuses hard on this category. So um, making sure that equipment is right for you. And we, again, we say this at Second Spin all the time, I don't, we don't care, you know, how often you play. We don't care what type of swing, if you're swing fast, swing slow. Uh, we don't, maybe your skill, skill level, anything. We want you to fit, get the clubs that fit your game. And Epic Max Star will certainly fit 
those players that maybe are on the kind of lower end of the swing speed spectrum. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I think that taking a, you know, when we're testing this out, like the feel of it is great. It is mm -hmm. super light. Um, but you can see there, I mean, yeah, I had one miss it, but other than that, yeah. like, your drives were down straight. going down the middle. So, um, and, and that's saying something considering I've only hit it a couple times and right. it, there's a huge weight difference. So right. that speaks to the forgiveness the of this ease, club too. The ease yeah. of which you can perform with this club. So, um, you've heard it here from Jackie golfers, uh, Epic max star series driver in Ferry wood. Again, if you're one of those golfers, a little bit lower on that swing speed spectrum, uh, this is certainly an option to consider. Will help you swing faster. Will help you hit it farther, and help you have more fun out there on the golf course. So, Jackie, thank you for joining today, giving the feedback on the Epic Max Star Series. So, golfers, if you're in that category, you know where to go: SecondSwing.com, or scheduling a fitting in store at Second Swing as well. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and thank you for watching.